Hello, this is Coleman Rosenberg uh, presenting our next uh, presentation in our Masters of, of Photography series. And I've chosen to talk about a photographer by the name of Monita Sleet Jr. Um, Monita Sleet Jr. Um, was a black photographer, and we don't hear too much about uh, many famous black photographers. Um, but in doing some research on the topic, I found his name along with a photographer by the name of John H. White Jr. and of course Gordon Parks who we uh, many photographers are quite familiar with and in fact is one of my favorite photographers. We may come back to Gordon Parks at another time although we talked about him in the past in our Emulating Famous Photographer series. But Monita Sleet Jr. Uh, also is notable uh, he was born in 1926 in Owensboro, Kentucky, died at the age of 70 in 1996. Um, he served in an all-black unit during World War II, and uh, following the war, he attended Kentucky State College, now Kentucky State University, where he earned a bachelor's degree in journalism in 1947. He went on to attend uh, NYU and uh, obtained a master's degree in journalism in 1950, uh, after which he worked for a short time uh, as a sports journalist for the Amsterdam News in New York. Uh, he became the first African-American man to win a Pulitzer Prize. And he was also the first African-American period to win a Pulitzer Prize for journalism. Um, he was best known for his work uh, around the topic of civil rights, uh, for which he, he was mostly working for Ebony magazine. Um, he, uh, he won the Pulitzer Prize for the photo you see on the left here of uh, Coretta Scott King and her daughter and the daughter of Martin Luther King Jr., uh, Bernice. Um, that was the, uh, the photo that, that really put him on the map. The photo on the uh, right, uh, also from the funeral of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., um, uh, was, was another in that series. Interestingly enough, uh, at the funeral, uh, Originally, there were no black of black photographers assigned to cover the funeral, and um, Coretta Scott King uh, insisted that Monita Sleet Jr. Uh, be assigned, or if not, there would be no photographers at the uh, at the funeral. So, if if had if there had not been uh, Monita Sleet Jr. there, we would not have any photos of the funeral whatsoever. He then later also covered the funeral of Malcolm X uh, and took some uh, uh, very moving photos of that funeral and the grieving, uh, Malcolm X's grieving widow, Betty Shabazz. He, um, he covered many of those civil rights marches. Uh, you see on the left here, uh, I believe that was part of the march from Selma to Montgomery, as was the photo on the right. Uh, the photo on the right, you, uh, it was the story's been told that during that 50 mile march, he marched back and forth uh, through the line of, of, of marchers interviewing people. And it's estimated that although the march was a 50 mile march, he probably marched over 100 miles and going back and forth through the crowd while that march was proceeding. Uh, on the, um, the photo on the left, you can see uh, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., his wife, Coretta Scott King. Um, over on the far left side in the vest is John Lewis, who's now, uh, of course, a uh, congressman in the United States House of Representatives. Uh, other photos from the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, Different, different marches and activities, uh, and also just the plight of African Americans in the, in the country uh, uh, 
uh, I would say at that time, but but still today. Um, so that that was pretty much what he was was most known for, of course. He also uh, became almost a member of the Martin Luther King Jr. family. Uh, they welcomed him into his into their home, and he, uh, uh, you know, was was close to them throughout the life of Martin Luther King Jr. And in fact, uh, was by his side at the uh, "I Have a Dream" speech in in Washington D.C. and and many of the other activities as well during the lifetime of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. But he also had a, a diverse body of work beyond civil rights. Um, he photographed, and all of this was, most of it at least, was for Ebony Magazine. Uh, the photo on the left here was singer Billie Holiday. Uh, on the right, um, Jackie Robinson and uh, his wife, Rachel, uh, giving a, a speech somewhere. Uh, here we have Stevie Wonder at the piano. Uh, the two ladies on the right here, uh, you may not recognize them in this photo by Monita Sleet, but uh, Debbie Allen, uh, who was the um, choreographer and who was a, is a, a well-known choreographer and also starred in the TV show Fame, if you any of you remember that show. She was the dance teacher in fame. And Felicia Rashad, uh, also in this photo, uh, from later well known from the uh, Cosby show, I think it was. Then we've got a photo that he took of the Rat Pack. Um, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis, Dean Martin, and I, I Peter Lawford was the other member. I'm not sure if that's Peter Lawford in the picture or not, but um, the, the Rat Pack was pretty well known. On the right, uh, a photo of uh, boxer Floyd Patterson, who was a heavyweight champion of the world for a number of years. More diversity in his work. Uh, he did a, a lot of uh, stars and also fashion work. Uh, this is Isaac Hayes, uh, movie star, uh, well-known movie star, and uh, uh, known best, I think, for the, the uh, Shaft movies. And he also did some fashion work um, for Ebony Magazine and for some other uh, periodicals as well. The two the left and right photos here, fashion work. The photo in the center, uh, you may not recognize, but that is Aretha Franklin at a younger age. So he, um, he had a, a very diverse body of work, um, and it spanned, as we said, for uh, quite, a few, quite a few years, a 40-some year career in photography. Um, I mentioned in the beginning a couple of other black photographers, and we may come back to them uh, in, in future presentations, but if you'd like to look into them as well, uh, Gordon Parks is, is very well known. Uh, as I said, he's one of my, he, he's probably my favorite photographer, and he's really a Renaissance man. He, he was a, uh, uh, an incredible, photojournalist, uh, fashion photographer. Uh, he was a movie director. He was a composer uh, and a, a fascinating life. So you might want to look into him. And the other photographer that I just became familiar with, John H. White Jr. is worth looking into as well. Uh, uh, Nikon just did a, a series or is in the process of doing a series on famous photographers themselves. And it's called the Creators Hour. You, you can check on their website. But one of the photographers they interviewed in an hour long uh, 
interview was John H. White Jr. Uh, and, and John H. White Jr. I had never heard of, but I was familiar with it, turns out. Uh, he had worked for the Chicago Sun-Times for uh, many years and was laid off with the entire photography staff in 2013. Uh, but he also won a Pulitzer Prize for a whole year's worth of uh, work that he had done. And that, that was a first that the Pulitzer had awarded a prize for a body of work. Uh, so you may want to look into him as well. A very uh, humble gentleman and um, very spiritual as well. The interview with him really, um, really moved me. So you may want to look at John H. White Jr. as well. And I will, may do one of these uh, uh, Masters of Photography work on uh, presentation on him sometime down the line as well. So. Um, take a look at these photographers. Uh, again, look at, there's plenty more work of Monita uh, Sleet that you can find online as well. And uh, uh, I hope this have been, has been of interest to you. So thank you.